Hello and welcome to this video on basic data structures in Python. Python has four built-in data structures, lists, tuples, sets, and dictionaries, and in this video I'll go through lists and tuples. Now lists are, are uh, so lists are an ordered data structure that is, uh, that is mutable and allows duplicates. To create a list, we simply just say, I uh, give it a name with an equality, uh, and then with these square brackets, then we fill in uh, the list with some data. We can also give it different data types, so you can have integers as well as strings. Um, so, like that. Now, to to index a list, we can simply just use these square brackets, and this would give the first element, and the one would give the second element, uh, and so on. Uh, we can also get the last element by saying negative one. That gives five. We can get the second last element by saying negative two. That gives four. What we can also do is something called slicing, where we take out uh, a portion of the list. So the syntax for that is start, stop, and the step size. Uh, the step size is one by default. So we can do something like uh, one colon three, and this would give uh, two and three uh, because it it gives us uh, the element at index one and two, uh, the last one. So the stop is excluded. Uh, so we can say four here, and that would give us a two, three, and four. Uh, now we can also, so the step size allows us to basically um, to take every other uh, element in the list. So say we want everything, so say we want to skip every second element for that, we just say colon, colon. Uh, so this is just, you know, to specify that we are scanning through the entire array. And then for the step size, we say two here. Uh, if we say that, then it would just give us, so it would give us one, three, and five, and it would skip two and four. Um, right, so we can also we can also take everything from the beginning of the list to 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 some specified index. So say we want everything from the start to to maybe three like that. So this would give us one, two, and three. Uh, we can also do it the other way around so that we take everything from some specified index all the way to the end. So let's say three and colon would then give us everything. Uh, would then give us four and five, right, uh, like that. So what we can also do is we can. We can write some um, some. We can we can change the elements of the list. So to change the the first element, you can just write uh, my list zero uh, is equal to ten. And this should then uh, replace the first element. Um, you can also we can also write dot append, uh, and this adds uh, an element uh, to the end of the list. Uh, like that. So. Like that, um, it's also possible to 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 remove an element uh, by saying by saying remove. Um, and here we can just say five, and that would remove uh, the last element from the list. Like that. Um, there is also another way to to remove an element. So you can also say pop, um, and this removes an element from uh, from the specific index, and it returns it. Um, so we can say pop zero, this should return, uh, and then you can say val like that. And if we now print val, it would be it would be one. And if we print the list, it should print uh, without having without having the, the zeroth element. Another thing we can do is we can uh, we can we can extend um, this list. So so we can say extend and then give it another list here. And that simply, so it basically appends it um, and combines the two lists into one. Um, so I'll just remove that, like that. So it has appended these two, um, the two lists. Um, another way to do this is to say, is to say, is to create another list here, like that, and then. And then we can just overwrite this. So we can say my list plus fruit list. And then we, we simply print uh, my list. So this should give the same result. So we can also check for membership by saying one in my list. And this should then give uh, a Boolean uh, specifying whether the element is in the list or not. We can also count the number of elements in a list. So if we have two ones here, then we can say my list dot count like that and then that should return two. 
um, it's also possible we can very easily uh, sort uh, a list if it's not sorted uh, and we can also reverse a list so to reverse a list we can we just simply say reverse and this reverses and this reverses a list and if this was not sorted so if we had a five there and a two there uh, you can simply say sort uh, and this and this would then uh, this would then sort the list okay so one more thing i wanted to to talk about is is copying a list so you might think you could do something like this um, but the problem here is that if you change the element of, of my list and you print both lists then you would see it also it also propagates the changes to to my list and this is not something we want right so to fix this, we need to create a deep copy of the of the of the object. To do that, we simply write copy here, and if you now if you now do the same thing, and you print this, you'll see that the original list is unmodified. Okay. The last thing I wanted to talk about is list comprehensions, and it's something very, very powerful. Uh, it's a way to basically create lists in, uh, in, uh, in, in sort of a Pythonic way where you don't have to, where you don't have to deal with loops. So let's just, I'll just write some code. So let's say we have a loop here, and let's say we have a list like that, and let's say we have a loop, and let's say that we want to take the take the square of this uh, and just append it to the list like that and we then have something like that so we simply just take the square so this is one way to do it um, but how, the way you would do it in a, in a list comprehension is you would simply say so we start with the, with the with square brackets and then you say i uh, asterisk, asterisk like that um, for i in range then you give it the range and so this would simply just so it would just evaluate so we just run sort of this loop and it would evaluate this and um, and then it would um, it would create this uh, uh, this list so if you say list here uh, you'll see that it should be the same uh, tuples are very similar to lists. The only difference is that tuples are immutable, whereas lists are mutable. This means that you can't change um, the value of an element in a tuple. So to create a tuple, you use um, these parentheses, so something like that, and then it's it's very similar to a list where you can you know you can just index it like that, and you get the first element. Um, yeah, and and basically you can also. Um, you can also iterate it like you can a list, right? So something like that. Um, and then you get sort of all the elements in the tuple. Um, and what you can't do is you can't, so you can't set, uh, so you can't do something like this, right? So this, this wouldn't, uh, this wouldn't work because it's immutable. Um, so you would, you would use a tuple in places where, where your data, uh, where you, where you know that your data won't change so something like constants or something that you know that you know where um, where, where the data won't change and it can also help um, help prevent sort of accidental um, or help prevent bugs in your code uh, because uh, because because you would be guaranteed that uh, that, that the data um, is not is not changeable um, so one thing I wanted to talk about uh, regarding tuples is that of uh, tuple packing and tuple unpacking so so to get the one common way uh, to get sort of the elements uh, from a tuple is to is to define the variables uh, like that um, and this is this is typically used in in um, in functions right so so if you have a function that returns maybe um, three things and then you want to store them in a variable uh, or or the other way around this is how you can do it uh, so you would have something like that, and then you would simply, you can, you know, you can just print 
uh, you can just print these uh, and then you would get one, two, three. Uh, it also works. It also works the other way around. So, so you can say, you can say top is equal to uh, X1, X2 and X3. And then you can say, and then if you have X1, X2 and X3 like that, then you should be able to just to to just print this uh, and then you get the you get the tuple tuples are also slightly faster than lists um, so if you're if you're creating a tuple um, or or a list over over a large number of elements and if you're creating a tuple of the over a large number of elements the tuple would be a bit faster but it doesn't really you don't really see the performance difference on uh, on, on my machine because it's in uh, it's an m1 uh, or an m2 uh, with an m2 chip uh, but it might in some cases give like a, sm uh, a slight, slight performance boost. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on data structures in Python. I'll be making more videos soon where I go through all of the built-in data structures in Python. If you like this video and if you think it was useful, make sure you like and subscribe and see you in the next one.